Hey guys, Tony, KD8RTT. Got a new video today, sorry it's been a little while. Um, pretty pretty busy, but I got a new video today. Um, recently, I purchased a Yaesu FT18. Um, sorry, 817. <laughs> and uh, so a little QRP radio, which is something I've wanted for a while. Picked one up, got one with, uh, with actually with an auto tuner, pretty good deal, a little package. Uh, I was looking at an antenna for it. Now typically I use my super antenna vertical, which I like. Um, and it works fairly well for me, and it's fairly small, but the problem is you need a tripod of some sort, generally, to use it. So I was looking for something else. Since I have the tuner for the 817, um, I considered, you know, a random wire, I've used that before. But then I thought about something I'd heard about, and that was some speaker wire. So here you see you got some 24 gauge speaker wire, um, 100 feet of it. This cost about five bucks, actually I think it was about five bucks with tax at a local hardware store. Um, and like I said, it's 24 gauge, so it's very thin, very lightweight, and it's uh, zipped together, kind of like classic lamp cord. Um, so you can pull it apart, um, you know, if you need to. So I've heard people using this, and um, someone mentioned making a doublet out of it. So if, um, if you're familiar with a doublet, the idea of a doublet is that you cut, the, it's like a dipole in that you have two legs, exactly the same as a dipole, and you cut them lengthwise the same you would as a dipole. So if you wanted a 40 meter doublet, you would cut um, legs that are, you know, quarter wave each um, and that sort of thing. Now the idea with the doublet is you, you find the, the band that you want, the lowest band you want to work on. So if you want to use this thing on 80 meters on up, cut it for 80 meters. If you want to use it 40 meters on up, use it for, cut it for 40 meters. And um, then you feed it, instead of using coax, you feed it with some sort of like uh, twin lead, um, or a ladder line, that sort of thing, um, because it's much lower loss. So instead of using coax, use a lower loss feed line that lets you use a tuner, tune it up on bands that it's not cut for, and while it's not necessarily um, a better antenna, the fact that the feed line is so low loss is that it, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's, it's better than using coax, so it works better as a multiband. So I'm a big proponent of the doublet. Um, I have a doublet that's cut for 80 meters, that I've used for the past two field days. Um, and that one, um, I used wire and Radio Shack uh, twin lead, like TV twin lead. And like I said, I've used that the past two field days, love it, it's a great antenna, works nice, multi-band. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to make something similar for my 817. Now, they tend to be a little bulky uh, because of the twin lead, but this lets us do something special. So if we go ahead and open this up, like I said, it zipped together. It's pretty small, it's hard to see, but it's zipped together. So at the top here, let me get this unwound, you can actually start peeling it apart. So what this is, is this is actually just like twin lead. Now uh, obviously it isn't, um, we don't know the impedance, this isn't controlled impedance, um, but and we don't know what it is. But since we're using a tuner anyway, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this, I'm going to split off of it the legs of, I'm going to make this for 40 meters on up, so I'm going to pull these down um, to 40 meters, or the appropriate length for 40 meters, so a quarter wave, and um, that's going to help us make our doublet. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now um, I've measured it out. Um, it's kind of hard to show it all. I didn't show myself actually measuring it, but believe me, it's measured out. What I did was is I said that I was going to make this for 40 meters. So um, a good rule of thumb for a 40 meter dipole is about 33 feet um, for each leg, about 66 feet overall. So what I did was I measured it out, marked it, and then slid some heat shrink um, right at the mark. The mark's right under this heat shrink. So this essentially is the feed point. So um, right now it's all still together, but this will all be split down, split apart down to here. Now, um, depending on how you want to use this, you could put something that lets you hang it in the middle. Um, shouldn't be metal, but you could use, you could make a center insulator out of something, drill a hole in it and use it to hoist it up. Um, of course, it'll make it more bulky. So I'm planning on using this just by suspending it from the ends. Um, again, this is QRP, simple stuff, not permanent. So temporary antenna. So it should hold in that case. But this heat shrink will stop the rest of it from being pulled apart, essentially. Um, and I'm going to do a similar thing at the ends. I'm going to loop it around um, and then heat shrink it so that you got little loops to hang it from on the end. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back with you. 
Okay, so here are the ends. I haven't split this all the way apart yet, uh, just because it's still, you know, in my apartment, it'd be a pain. But um, I looped them back. So I did cut this a slightly longer. Um, but again, the length's not too specific in this case. Um, a little longer is probably a little better than a little shorter. But a little longer, looped it around, used some heat shrink. It seems like it's fairly strong. Um, again, not permanent antenna, temporary. So I think this will work. Um, so basically now the antenna is done. Now one thing to note is, if you remember, um, the whole thing is 100 feet of cable. I used 33 of it for the legs of the doublet. So um, that leaves a little bit over, like, you know, 67 feet of, um, of, of wire left. Um, and that's your feed line. Now you shouldn't, you don't really want this stuff dragging on the ground since it's a balanced feed line. Um, you kind of want it in free space more or less um, with nothing really too close to it, especially no metal. So I'll probably end up cutting uh, that shorter. Um, I haven't decided exactly how short. Maybe I'll put, leave 30 feet of it um, on the, you know, as a feed line so I can get this at about 30 feet in the air, something like that. Um, of course, higher is better, um, but at some point it becomes unwieldy. Um, so yeah, that length isn't too important actually uh, since we're using a tuner. Um, so it, it will be more loss, of course, the longer the cable. And like I said, you don't want it dragging on the ground generally, but you can pick your length more or less. Now, one thing um, I will mention um, is what you're gonna need with the tuner. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the last piece. This is a four to one ballon. Um, this particular one I got off of eBay. Um, it came from China, I think it was about around 10 bucks, um, I think. Um, and it's advertised as basically the auct the, the listing said good for less than 100 watts. Um, so I haven't opened it up or anything to look at it. Um, I'm planning on using this for QRP, so I'm not really too concerned. If you're using it for higher power, you might or you might not want to use it for higher power. You might want to investigate that. But anyways, so this is a ballon. Um, this basically lets me connect a balanced um, the convert between balanced and unbalanced. So basically from feed line to co or from like a twin lead. Um, coax. So uh, this is the last kind of key in our setup. So the um, feed line from the doublet will connect to these two screw terminals, which I added by the way that just came with uh, the regular nuts. I put the little wing nuts. Um, and then we'll connect this end right to our tuner and get this antenna on the air. So we'll go ahead and hook it up and uh, see what we get. Okay, so here we are starting my trunk. Um, here is the speaker wire. Um, right now I just have it laid up. It's going to be hard to see, but it goes up. Um, and then, I'm sure you won't be able to see it, um, but above there, probably, oh, 25 feet, maybe, not that high, um, is the wire. That's the center, splits out, goes to this big tree here, um, about that branch, and then stake to the ground. Similarly, on this tree, right here goes up um like that fork there and then down to the ground and then it's just strung between them comes down and we're gonna put it in my trunk i guess to start um so i gotta cut the speaker wire as you can see there's a lot of extra length um so try to give it a little slack so that i'm in different circumstances i'll still have enough um, but you can always kind of twist it together um if you need to add a little more so we'll go ahead and get that set up and get this thing on the air all right, so now I've actually moved over a bit. Um, having some issues near the car. Um, so I, I decided to move it over. So uh, antenna's in the same place. Um, but now to keep it off the ground, I've kind of have it propped up on some sticks. Um, just it, 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 It's a better practice. Uh, goes into our ballon, into the radio here. Um, I just hit the tuner for 20 meters. Um, and it sounds like there's some people on the band. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we hear and try to make a contact. Kilo Delta 8 Romeo Tango Tango QRP Kilo Delta 8 Romeo Tango Tango QRP Kilo Delta 8 Romeo Tango Tango QRP D5 555 Alright great thanks uh, you are 5959 here uh, I'm in upstate New York and uh, just popped on the radio uh, Set up an antenna, your new antenna I'm trying out here, and uh, yeah, you're my first contact on it. Thank 
Thank you. To you for the call. Uh, congratulations from the QRP activity. 73, uh, have a nice day, sir. All right, 73 to you too, and thanks. Uh, Kilo Delta 8, Romeo Tango Tango. 73, old man, uh, Kilo 38 for America 1 Delta 3. Okay, it is, and uh, good luck to you. Whiskey X Ray 0, North Dakota. Kilo Delta 8, Romeo Tango Tango, QRP. Romeo Tango Tango, come again. Kilo Delta 8, Romeo Tango Tango, QRP. Romeo Tango Tango, and I'll stroke you a QRP. Uh, you're a 5-9 Gulf Park Star Kilo. Okay, thanks. You are uh, also 5-9. I'm up here in upstate New York near Syracuse. Uh, thank you. Whiskey X-ray 0, North Dakota. Okay, so uh, I was able to make a few contacts. Um, you know, part of this is the battle being QRP, so uh, it was tough to get a lot of people. I, I'm hearing tons, um, and if you're paying attention there, um, the first contact I made was actually on 10 meters, then I switched it over to 20. Um, so if you remember, this antenna is technically cut for 40 meters. Um, and I was hearing all sorts of signals on uh, 20. 20 was packed. Um, and uh, yeah, so overall, I was fairly impressed with the antenna. Um, it's performed well, uh, which is mostly expected. Um, the biggest issues I had today were kind of logistical. Um, finding a good place to set up and getting the antenna up um, and getting everything connected. Um, so like I said, it's very simple. This antenna is very simple, very inexpensive. Um, you know, it's a great portable antenna. A um, couple, couple things to note with it is the speaker wire um, tangles fairly easily. It's got like a coating on it that makes it a little, uh, there's a little bit more friction to it. It's a little um, more grippy, I guess. So it's really easy for it to grip on itself, twist up, and become a mess. Um, also, I was experienced as I pulled apart the legs um, after I put all the heat shrink on everywhere, that it was twisting up. And uh, it was actually kind of a real pain that it kept wanting to coil, twist up when I was pulling it apart, um, which took a little time to mess around with to fix. But all in all, it's a good antenna. Um, I think it'll work well for a lot of people. Definitely recommend trying it out. You don't have a whole lot to lose um, in terms of money or anything. And again, you don't have to use uh, wire this, this thin. Um, same, uh, same idea works for really any size wire. This is just a convenient small one for my QRP rig. Like I said, in the past, I had done one with Radio Shack Twin Lead, which is much heavier. Um, but I simply, you know, same idea. I cut two pieces of regular wire um, for the for the legs. I uh, had a little center insulator and soldered them, and I connected the Twin Lead to it. It's the exact same thing. Uh, that one's probably a little bit more stronger. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, all in all, good experience with it. Definitely recommend it. Like, I saw, like you saw, it's not hard to make. Um, and, uh, you know, pretty forgiving. So, all right, guys, 73, and we'll see you later.